Awakening is a blessing. It's pure enlightenment, arcane knowledge, untold mysteries, unimaginable power. Awakening is a curse. It's all-consuming addiction, existential despair, desperate loneliness, dangerous hubris. Awakening is knowing you can do whatever you want and then doing it. Damn the consequences if you like, but your damnation doesn't erase them. Bending reality to your will intoxicates you, but you're not the only one who can. Staring into the abyss frightens you, but if you can just learn enough and work hard enough, you can conquer even that, can't you? Welcome, Seekers. We are Vorpal Tales, and we perform terrifying tales and awesome adventures every day of the week. Most days, twice a day. If it's the mysteries of the dark and macabre that are your obsession on Sundays, we play Unknown Armies and Vampire the Masquerade. On Mondays, for two more weeks, we're playing They Came From Beyond the Grave. On Thursdays, the finale of our Alien the RPG Season 1 campaign is this week. On Fridays, we are playing The Contagion Chronicle and then our season finale of Ravenloft. On Saturdays, on the Free League Twitch channel, we are playing Simber Room, followed by Werewolf the Apocalypse, and back on our channel. If it's the adventurous and fantastic to feed your hubris, on Tuesdays, we'll be playing Pugmire Squeaks in the Deep, beginning tonight. Go check out the Kickstarter Onyx Path, people, because it's live today. On Wednesdays, this week is the finale of Fallout, Radioactive Summers, followed by Deadlands in the Savage World setting next week. Beginning next Thursday on Thursdays, Star Trek Adventures, and... In two weeks on Fridays, Scarred Lands, Drac Genesis. There are endless archives of occult secrets and lost knowledge at our website, VorpalTales.com, where you can find our calendar, see recaps of shows, and get the links to our archives. You'll also find how to get our social media there, our Ko-Fi, and our Patreon. Visit it to find new enlightenment. Be sure to follow on Twitch, and then plunder those YouTube archives for the Secrets of Atlantis at YouTube.com slash C slash VorpalTales. Subscribe and hit the bell while you visit, so you can be alerted of all of the new legacies that get uploaded weekly. Special thanks to Astral Tabletop, which we use for our virtual gaming space. To At Nate Mid for the custom sheets we use in Astral for this game. And to Ghost Stories Incorporated, Miu and Darren Curtis Music for some of the tunes we're hearing in this terrifying tale. All of these awesome people and the products they make help us touch the supernal if only for a few hours a week. Orpal Tales is running a special event this month, all of July, that I'm sure by now most of you have heard about. We are collecting charity for a Love Your Rebellion, an awesome uh, nonprofit organization in Florida that we are very close to in real life, especially ever. Uh, as the month wears on, you'll be able to meet at least a couple of these people, one of them on this day, possibly next week. So hang on tight for that. Uh... As far as Levery Rebellion goes, what are they all about? They are a nonprofit whose mission is to employ, discover, assist, and empower minority communities. Communities that self identify as women, immigrants, people of color, people from queer and trans communities, people from low income communities, and with disabilities are all included and uplifted through this uh, nonprofit organization, which they do through music, art, poetry, and literature promotion and publication. Attending or taking part in any of the events Love Your Rebellion puts on is an opportunity to connect with who you are. Celebrate pride in your identity, support intersectionality, learning and awareness among all communities and our beautiful diversity. All of July we're taking donations for them and all of the proceeds go directly to them to empower diversity. We have a slew of rewards you can buy and milestones that we are powering through. Got at least six left though. So please be sure to check them all out at the links that should be showing up any second now. On the 23rd of July, in just a couple weeks. In fact, is that next week? That is. Next Friday, we're running charity one-shots all evening back-to-back -back for six or seven hours if you include the break time. I think it's seven. Possibly longer if Meat Punks takes longer to resolve the story. First, Rachel will be running Blue Rose, followed by Steve running extreme meat punks forever with a slew of guest stars so make sure you come check it out we'll be planning special rewards you can buy on that day we will be having purchasable rewards and milestones all month on all of our shows 
Wake and Seekers, practitioners of the art, tell us who you are in the name of the character that will be your Amago in this terrifying tale. Hey everyone, my name is Rachel. Uh, today I will be playing Angelique in Acanthus of the Free Council. Hey everybody, I'm Ever. My pronouns are they, them, and today, tonight, tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, I shall be playing Chimera, also known as Jack, whose pronouns are he, him. He is a mage of the fiercest mages, and uh, he has to make supernal pancakes. Great. Helps if I unmute. Hello there, my name is Nair, and you can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Oh Hello Mare. Um, and tonight I will be playing the Obrimus Mysterium Mage Andromeda, who has made more than a few questionable decisions so far. So uh, we'll see what we can get into with her tonight. Hey everyone, I'm Alan, and today I will be playing Paimon, Mastigos, Mage of the maybe no longer Silver Ladder in the future. We will see. Excellent. And Key is not with us this week because he's out partying, but when he does, oh my god, his hair is so purple. We've seen it. It's amazing. It's gonna be a lot of purple here next week. Oh yeah. Now ever, if you would, please share with us the secrets revealed by your uh, cabal in the last chapter of this story. Ah, uh, yes. We open with chaos. We're getting ready to leave as Andromeda finally comes out of her coma. Angelique distracts her by asking about angel milk. <laughs> So Paimon can examine her and evaluate any strange feelings she might have. Andromeda feels like she's just woken up after a three-day hangover and we catch her up. As we wrap up, Paimon notices that Jew seems to have gone missing. His room's locked. There's no response when we knock. Paimon uses a master key to open the room. Nearly everything is covered in a thick jelly-like substance, and there's some green vapor around the bed. There's a faint whiff of corruption and decay, and some kind of space magic happened here recently. Angelique finds a key in the goo to a storage unit. Hmm. It's quite obvious that something violent happened here as well. Andromeda recognizes the goo as plasm, here by way of death energy. Juve seems to have been kidnapped and taken to the underworld. On the way to those pancakes. Paimon asks Angelique to use her time magic to sense what may have happened in the past. Angelique gets a vision of Juve in his Bugs Bunny boxers, what's up doc, taking up most of his queen size bed. He's a restless sleeper and at one point wakes up leaves the room for 10 minutes, then gets back into bed. Almost immediately, there's a discharge of magical energy and things in his room go flying everywhere. She can't see what's attacking him, nor what he's doing. At some point, he even gets out a set of brass knuckles and punches something Angelique can't see, and goo splatters against the wall. He tackles whatever it is, then falls through a portal and subsequently disappears. We're discussing what to do when Angelique busts in and says, holy shit, we've got problems. Look out the window. Five vampires are about to get into a war with five werewolves, which usually wouldn't be a problem except they're doing it on the Chantry house lawn. The vampires have arrived inside the Chantry, and one of them punches Chimera so hard, he goes flying through the wall and onto the ground below. Andromeda summons a wall of force, but loses control and slams all of us into the wall. There's a lot of screaming and crying and fighting. Annette gets mind controlled to fight the vampires, which only gets her injured. Paimon decides to go for broke and summons Zothamog probably a bad idea. Andromeda writing or or oh, sorry, Andromeda witting or perhaps not decides to help. 
Angelique sees her begin leaking what what looks like a bit of galaxy. Andromeda starts chanting in high speech, but it's somehow wrong and painful, injuring Angelique. The ambient sound increases as a sphere of intense starlight forms and blasts away all of the vampires. Angelique barely has time to say, you should probably leave now to the surviving werewolves before the earth itself begins attacking them. That's about when a ball of light falls from the sky. It's an amorphous mass of changing and collapsing organic matter. It eventually settles on developing four goat legs, charges into the werewolves, and begins attacking. Angelique casts a quick divination, but her magic betrays her, and she thinks this will all go perfectly fine. The thing kills all the werewolves and even destroys the earth elemental. Rude. It approaches Paimon, who hears in his head, Brother, welcome, before returning to the sky. The ground where it stepped looks dead and burned. We look at each other in a bit of shock before Angelique goes to check on Annette, who has broken her leg. Angelique immediately goes for help from the rest of the Silver Ladder. Chimera, who's been pretty badly banged up, draws from the earth to heal himself. After we're back upright, it's time to figure out what to do next. We've got quite a few sketchy people in this group, but despite that, we decide to go find Juve. On the way, Andromeda has a vision of... something... offering her a crown. She accepts it, and loses her wisdom for joining. That's, uh, that's probably nothing bad. At the storage unit, it's full of stuff. It all glows with magic. There's an old Polaroid camera radiating fate. A set of 3D glasses, a lucky rabbit's foot, and a rather large chest talisman. There's also a huge grimoire, complete with metal lock and a pair of short swords. Angelique goes for the camera and immediately takes a picture of her new mage friends. It comes out surprisingly high quality with something odd in the background. It looks like a portal of thorns with a strange carriage coming out. Chimera thinks it might have something to do with changelings, but isn't sure. Angelique lets Chimera examine the photo while she looks at the place she saw. It seems like it was coming from somewhere deeper than the hedge. It's bleeding fate magic to a nearly painful degree, all centered on a specific person? No, a keeper. About then is when Angelique gets a text message from Annette, who has sold them out to the hunters for what looks like just some kicks. Darn you, Steve, for the heel turn. Angelique seems strangely into the whole idea, though the rest of the mages are understandably upset at being drawn into their rather odd romance games. She immediately begins forming contingency plans, but a side realization strikes her. This is all Jews. He's just as much a thief as she is. Meanwhile, Paimon explores the various magical artifacts and hands a rabbit's foot to Andromeda. She feels incredibly lucky holding it, but had better not lose it. Paimon puts on the talismanic disc and feels the power flow through him. Chimera and Angelique split the swords. Chimera's hits ghosts while Angelique can damage dead things. Before we leave, Angelique puts on the 3D glasses and looks at a rack of herbs. She sees them reverse their growth. Looking at Chimera, she sees him repeat the last five minutes he just did in exact detail. Taking a risk, she looks at the portal and sees the Keeper emerge and mark her. 
Oh, yes. And we shall play too, says Angelique, before taking the glasses off to put them in her jacket pocket. Or she would, if she could remove them. She can't. But it's time to wrap up this investigation. When Paimon brings up Juve, we remember why we're here. There's something about Juve losing his partner in some kind of traumatic way. Someone broke into his place and his partner's ghost blames Juve. That's why they fought and ended up in Twilight. We're going to have to figure out a way to get into Twilight. Here come those pancakes. Driving to the Chantry, we make one more realization. Chimera and Angelique are now bonded by the swords and do not like being more than one mile apart. Thank you. And now, major chaos to start. Thanks, Zach. Good start. Good start. Let's see. Ever is one. Alan is two. Rachel is three. Bear is four. Okay. I can't reach. Someone roll the d4. Too. They're just going everywhere. It. Everything but a D4. <laughs> Three. Never wins. Here we go. Three I'm like looking is. through my dice and the it's point like the, is up. It's so like, it's hardest to grab. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the least rolled dice. So it was at the bottom yep. of my mason jar. <laughs> yep. Uh. Uh. Three would be Rachel. Okay, Rachel. So until I say otherwise. Your character can only communicate using noises. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> again. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Rachel. <laughs> you can communicate to me in DMs if you want to take physical actions, or you can say whatever you want in Discord, but out loud, only noises. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, you're still in the storage unit. We wrapped up with the glasses and its aftermath, and you didn't actually leave yet. I think. Is that correct, Ever? Or were we in cars? Wait. Come again? Sorry, I was catching up with Twitch chat. I, I think we finished. In your we car. We were still in the shed. Yeah. We were still in the shed. We or, were on our way. Oh, we, we were driving, and oh, uh, yeah. Angelique's vehicle... <laughs> Uh, made it just before the red light and the right. vehicle got stopped that So you could light. figure yeah. out that the swords were separate. So you are still in the car, so then yes. Which means, of course, we're going to start with whichever car Rachel's in. <laughs> and you won't know until you try to talk, Rachel, that something's wrong. So begin! Uh... Who's in the car with Rachel again? I don't remember. Not I. Yeah, anyone not but ever. character either. <laughs> probably I. Um, whoever was with Rachel had dots and drive because Rachel did not. I'm pretty sure is how that worked out. You are muted, man. I got no dots and drive. <laughs> muted somewhere. Somehow, somewhere. <laughs> loving her hair so much oh my god mm. purple's magnificent still muted still doom we should have just assigned that punishment to to, to meredith it's been fine <laughs>
Yeah, you could ta cash it in, Alice. You just wouldn't hear her singing. Oh. <laughs> What's going on with Mayor Stop? No. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's see if we can even recall the vehicles. Wait, if Rachel has her 3D glasses on and driving, how does that work? Oh God! So um, it's, without the curse killing only, someone, the curse only kicks in fully in round by round situations. Oh, okay. In all other situations, she can essentially control it. So that's where it becomes useful, because then she can just look at the post-cognition when she wants. But in combat, you're doomed! <laughs> Alice, I... Rachel will end up with amazing depth perception. <laughs> And Spank My Betty suggests we uh, reboot Mayor herself. <laughs> the uh, Mayor is not SC in this this uh, game, sadly. <laughs> Hopefully, her sound card didn't blow up. Oh my God, that can that can happen. Oh yeah. I blame the cats. <laughs> it's, it's, it's always the cat's fault. <clears throat> sab catage. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Spank my Betty says Zoom should have a call-in number if needed. Wait, you have two he mics? Is oh, you have so many mics. A mission though. <laughs> I have three. That's fair. But then again, you're like the the tech guy, so. True. So yeah, let me tell you a little <laughs> bit about. Yeah, do uh, it. Good chance. <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, oh, Eldritch Keeper got to boost the player from Tony. By the way. Um. Uh, tell you a little bit about what's going to happen next week. Um, my friend slash colleague slash director and creator of Love Your Rebellion will be guest starring in our show. She has agreed to, as her first TTRPG, join in on Mage. Uh, I did give her a heads up. It is a difficult game to play. However, uh, people would be willing to roll for her and she's going to talk a little bit about Love Your Rebellion uh, in the beginning, why she created it and what it's all about in her own words, not mine and should be fun. We're going to create a character for her slash with her uh, she's going to create a concept of this character and we're going to bring it to life in a character sheet so, that's cool yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun, I hope I hope she enjoys it. She sadly will not be available on the 23rd for our special charity games, but that's why she's attending on another day. So she did want to uh, show her thankfulness in, in the form of connecting with us in the way that we do. So our awesome donors. Yeah. Well, by us, I was including the donors. So. Well, right. Yeah. <laughs> It's we we are we are one we are collective we are Borg. Ah. Oh, wrong show. Sorry, that's uh, next week <laughs> on Thursday. Next Thursday. How many, Can't wait for, I wonder how many fans it will that. make sad if they learn that I have no plans for the Borg at all in that show ever. Holly. But what's what's the timeline though for that game? S Twenty-three. S oh wait, we can hear you. <gasps> Okay. Sound. Is it that bad and so... crispy? No. No. No, actually, it's nice and clear. What's wrong with my It's 2351. Hi. What did I miss? <laughs> 2351 deaths. 
Everything you sprouted two tentacles. Next gen? Picard is still captain of the Star. Okay, so it's still, yeah, it's next gen. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna. All right. Are we gonna see Q? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, Q time, yes. Um, Meredith, you were gonna say something when your mic was broken about drivers. Oh god, what's broken now? Nothing's broken. I'm just trying to get it so that the cord's not laying across everywhere. Hello, everyone. Welcome to karaoke. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> hey, friends. Uh, so, uh, the drivers, I just know that we were in the back of some sort of van. Um, I was in the back of some sort of van, and I believe Chimera was driving. Is that a recollection? Oh, you know what? Yeah, because I do have, I actually created a character with some drive, which is very rare for me because screw driving, even though I I drive all the time. Yeah. So, cool. Yay. All right. Yeah, I've got a dot and drive. Yeah, that was me. Yep. I am the drivey bit. Okay, so that means I'm in uh, Angelique. I'm with her, right? In In her car. Correct. Okay, this is going to be fun. So yes. Angelique and Paimon, begin. All right, we're going to have to make it back to the Chantry so we can take a look at what we can do for Mr. Juve. I'm a little worried. Oh, all right. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Mm. Need to get back to the Chantry to see what we can do for Mr. Juve. What's... uh, Are you okay? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, What does uh, uh mean words, please? Uh. Are you having a stroke? Uh. All right. So, uh... First casting of the day. <laughs> Which is probably going to get interrupted by someone. All right. So here we go. This is not going to be that difficult of a spell. Okay. Just over here. We have this over here. it is duration so basically what i'm going to be casting is a mind three spell it's called universal language okay what arcana myth three this over here no it's not road no uh, spell resisted let's take a look no, all right, that's good. Next. And I am going for extended duration. I'm going for quick casting. Don't need this, don't need this. Yantras, I'm going to be using high speech and path tool. This over here. Yes, I have to do this because of that condition. Next. Now, I'm still not the Nas Nasi, right? Correct. Okay. So I have one paradox dice to roll, okay. and I will contain. Okay. And it is not a success, so no paradox. And rolling for the spell itself. Three successes, not a praxis. All right, so now basically it doesn't really matter what she says. I can just read body language and understand what she's saying if push comes to shove. Um, yeah, I'll let her relay to you in a Discord what she's trying to relay. But only part of what you try to relay, Rachel, never the whole thing. All right. What's happening? Are you having issues? What 
am I getting? I think she's typing. Oh. <laughs> While she types, though, I will say that peripheral mage site, Rachel, yours is going off like the red alert klaxon in Star Trek since we were talking about Star Trek. It's fate that's going off for you. Well, I don't think you're having a stroke for it. I was like a joke, but... All right. Do I see anything out of peripheral mage site? Magic is strong around Angelique right now, but you don't know what the source is. Okay. Can I go into active mage site? Yes. What do I see? An outside force is tampering with Angelique heavily. Extremely potent. Alright, that's not good. All right, let's try to make it to the Chantry as quickly as possible, please. And I, like, text message whoever's in the other car having problems with Angelique. She can't speak anymore. Dot, 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 correctly. Dot, dot, dot. So to whoever's not driving in the other car. That would be me, I think. I mean, you sound like a cat. Okay. <laughs> Rachel, would what are you, you trying like to say to, now? Would you like to use Active Mage no Sight on yourself? No it's the Keeper. The Keeper is meddling with you already. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm telling her how to get to the Chantry. As quickly as possible. Let's jump to the other vehicle. What's going on in the back of the van? And or the front uh. of the van. I guess I would probably be getting the text message. Yep. And the van does have one of those sliders you can open and try to talk to Chimera through. Oh, wait. So is this like a catering van? Hmm. Kind of, yeah. I mean, that's what you stole. Took. Borrowed. Yeah, the the caterer, since, I mean, the caterer is dead anyway. Right. Oh. You decided oh, she didn't right. need her the car. Cook. That's right. The cook's van. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're stealing from the dead. Just recalculating personally right now um trust me as someone who sees the dead they don't really need it okay uh and uh andromeda's checking her phone and she goes apparently angelique can't talk anymore they're having issues and air quotes well that's a bummer she's got a lot of sass yeah, just one more thing. Do you think that those things are going to stay on her face forever? That'd be weird. Well, I mean, at least, you know, uh, she'll be able to watch 3D movies. Better. Do they even make 3D movies in the blue and red anymore? You know, that might be a fun night. Maybe we could see. I bet you they sell some more of them on Amazon. <laughs> Either way, uh, apparently there's problems there and we need to go back to the Chantry. Uh, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back there either, but also, uh, also dead dude is in dead land and we need to go and undead him. So. Ooh, dead lands, like that one game. <gasps> oh, yeah. I like oh. watching playthroughs of them because I can't play them. Oh, yeah, I mean, that that makes sense. Uh, yeah. 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 Ingredients for supernal pancakes are... Yeah. Uh, something <laughs> about angel milk? God damn it. Yeah. So. Look, you made me say God. Thanks. Anyway. I mean, technically, your deity is a god. And then... That's, that's fair. <laughs> there's that horrible tinnitus sound. You always hear in movies to indicate energy is changing. <laughs> and then... Fuck. <laughs> a splatter of that purple, slimy, clear shit appears all over the side of the van wall. That ectoplasm you saw previously in the Chantry. Uh, Did you just puke back there? No, and no, And then two no. hands grab the sides of the van from the other side of that hole. And Juve's face pulls itself out, screaming, Get me the fuck out of here, goddammit! And then it snaps shut and he's gone. 
Like it was never uh -huh. there, except there's ectoplasm on the sidewall of the van. Dead dude's not dead. Good news, but dead dude's still in dead place. Uh, uh, he just came through, just like and left, and oh god, and it's everywhere. Oh my god, do you think this comes out? And is like checking her like super like starry like celestial like hippie shirts like oh my god this is actual pashmina this needs to like uh wait like isn't you're you're a hippie don't they avoid stuff like pashmina i don't i don't know how does it work? was fair trade okay it was made by people it was a very it's a thoroughly done organization i'm not a hippie thank you very much mm, cool fooled me Oh, yeah. And what happened? Did the new Cure album come out for you recently? Are you dying? Are you excited? Or do you just cry in your sleep to show joy? Uh, My Chemical Romance, thank you very much. And uh... Okay, first of all, Gerard Way is everyone's type, and we know it to be true. Well, then why are we complaining? We're not. But moving on. Guy's still in there. I should probably let them know that he's not dead. But he is dead because he's in the dead place. Yeah, yeah. Shoot him a text, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll figure out what the Andromeda fuck we're doing. sends. Andromeda takes a picture of the ectoplasm on the side <laughs> of the car, and then takes a couple minutes to add a couple WTF like little gifts on it, and then like one of the arrows and types in on there so it says Juve was here and sends <laughs> it to Paimon. You take the picture. You look at your phone. Flashes for a second, gets really hot, and then dies. No! It was such a good picture! As she says out loud, like, as she drops the phone. That was one of those iPhones or Samsungs, wasn't it? Probably no. the battery. I mean, listen. And I don't then think it was that. The van. I think it's the dead stuff. Sputters. Oh, and then what? Coughs and dies. Did you say spiders? Sputters, coughs, and sputters. dies. Sputters, coughs, and dies. Like it just goes. <laughs> um. It's okay. And now all you're right. coasting, uh, or Chimera. Oh fuck. <laughs> so I've got bad news, and I've got good news. Uh huh. Which one do you want first? Uh, you know what? Just surprise me. Chimera turns on the, the hazards and, and starts going off to the side of the road and Okay, there's one. So so the, the bad news is is the the van just died. Good news well, is is we get more quality time together. Listen, I'm positive you and I have run across each other at a gig somewhere. Like it's got to have happened. But anyway, so that is bad. Um and my phone is dead now too. Can you text a a Mr. Silver Ladder and let him know what's going on. Yeah, well, Mr. <laughs> Shiny Ascension. Watch, my phone's gonna be dead too. If your phone died and the van died, well, he... maybe don't take a picture of the thing. Like, he hesitantly pulls out his phone. Uh, yeah, you didn't try to take a picture of raw entropy. <laughs> so your phone works fine. So, Chimera will sit there with his his black. Uh, Google, what is that thing? No, 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 this is Chimera. You've got an S22. Oh, okay. Sure. I don't know what that is, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Chimera would. And, and he's just like, dead on side of the road, ghost snot, Andromeda's phone died. Dot, dot, dot. Who's driving, Paimon or Angelique? Angelique. So you get to text. I can't drive. <laughs> you get to text Paimon. Angelique does not text to drive. She's a responsible adult. However. Oh, stop. Oh, okay. <clears throat> However. We never fully resolved one last chaos purchase from last week. <gasps> no. Flashing lights and woo woos behind your car, Angelique. Oh no! Who can't talk? Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> and is wearing 3D glasses. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're going to jail. What? You're sure this is your choice? Okay. Angelique floors it.
Roll initiative, Angelique. <laughs> oh. oh. It's the speed going so I fast. I say. Angelique's camera's <laughs> slower <laughs> too. Mayor's Mike decides to rebel. Rachel's camera decides to run away. We're loving this rebellion, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're we're <laughs> making it a, a theme in all of our shows, the rebellion, yes. This <laughs> time brought to you by technology. Technology, okay. you hate to love it. Paimon, you're now running away from the cops. What what is your thoughts about this? Well, oh crap. So, what's happening? Why are you? Do I see like the head, like in the back? You do. Rear, like to my side mirror. I'm like, oh shit. You do. And what is it, Angelique's driving again? <sighs> Annette's car. Wasn't that a sports car? Porsche. Oh Sadly, God. it's a modified Charger that's behind you. So, give me a drive check, Angelique. Dex plus drive. <laughs> What's the penalty for that, Paimon? I don't remember. Minus one? Four? For what? Having no dots and drive and needing it for this particular instance. Oh, uh, so it's going to be minus one, yeah. Unskilled, yeah. Minus one die. The deck's minus one, Angelique. Right, no successes. Okay. Oh, you want to make that a critical failure for the beat. Okay. Don't kill us. <laughs> well, the cop also made no successes. Oh. So, you floor it. Cop floors it. Uh, you're heading, you actually have headed out of the city, and now you're heading on that winding country road that goes towards the Silver Ladder Chantry. And, uh, Suddenly, the road becomes twisty and windy like in a James Bond movie. Because it's a coastal road, so of course it does. And you hit a curve badly. And you drift. And the cop decides this is a good time to try to bumper tap you. So that you'd spin out of control and stop. But it's a Porsche. So it rolls. I'm going to need dex plus athletics from both of you. <laughs> So that is great. <laughs> okay, and that is okay. Two successes. Two. <laughs> Angelique is rolling decks only. What could go wrong? One success. Okay. Both of you roll stamina. Oh, no. This is not good. Roll. No successes. Okay. None for Paimon. And one for Angelique. So, 
The car rolls, hits the ground, rolls again, slides into a ditch. How many successes did you get again on that athletics roll, Paimon? Uh, two. And I'm going to need you both to answer honestly in your character now. Where are you seat belted? Well, would Paimon put on a seat belt in a Porsche? Yes, he would. He's not okay. that dumb. I'd believe that with Paimon. It's not that dumb. <laughs> okay. Angelique says Angelique only likes to break one law at a time. <laughs> In order of priority. Okay. So you are both seat belted. Which does prevent you from getting ejected out of the windshield but also does crush every part of your torso in a most violent manner. Uh, so how many successes on that athletics check, Paimon? Two. Two. Three lethal damage. Angelique, four lethal damage. Paimon, what was your stamina roll? None, right? Zero. You wake up first, Angelique, upside down, lacerated. Part of the dashboard sticking out of your leg. Urgh. Contest. Ow. The part of the seatbelt that goes around your waist is rearrange your kidneys and intestines. It's fine. So I'm still passed out, so. Yeah. You look over. Happening. Paimon is completely unconscious. His face is hanging out the shattered driver's side window. Most of the driver's side window's glass is in his face. Hey. Hey. He just flops around like a boneless doll. Ugh. Everything hurts. Go ahead and make resolve, or I'm sorry, wits plus composure. Angelique. Two successes. You smell the gasoline. Hmm. And the smell of burning plastic. Uh, uh... Is this not looking good? Meanwhile, Chimera and Andromeda are walking down the road really annoyed no one texted them back bunch of assholes <laughs> they're probably like pulled off somewhere in the woods making out or whatever criminals that would be an odd couple but eh, I don't know they're both kind of odd on their own too fair I don't know what do you say we uh, ditch this vehicle and get an Uber I guess yeah, yeah. Do you have that? Because I have, I have nothing else I can so, pay you back later. You were also on the twisty, curvy r road that goes towards the Chantry when your van died. Um, you open the Uber app, and the nearest place where an Uber will pick you up is in 10 miles back the way you came. Or at the Chantry, which is 10 miles ahead. Between here and there, uh, it's nothing. Are, so, by nothing, do you mean, like, are there little tiny farmhouses, anything like that? State park land. Forest land. Fuck. Uh, there's so much nature. Do you know anything about cars and the fixing thereof? Uh... Wait, wait, did I just hear you say, say like, ew, nature? Okay, listen. There's a very specific kind of nature that I like, okay? And 
like bugs and snakes and and things like that. I just uh, I get a little bit of the heebie-jeebies. Like rocks, I like rocks. Rocks come from nature. Rocks aren't usually poisonous. So how do you like your Starbucks? Uh, usually it's a uh, usually it's a venti americano with heavy cream and one stevia. I understand you so much better now. Yeah. Anyway, let's get walking. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's when a Porsche actually- blows past you at 110 miles an hour and almost knocks you off the road. Followed immediately Wait, by a we Dodge Charger. Them. Followed immediately by a Dodge Charger. It's yeah, I thought we going. were behind. I guess thought, was there yeah. loop, was there loop de doopy stuff before they got there? Like, did they take some turns? That is what you thought. You thought you were behind them. Yeah. Uh, was that? The the that was fuck. That's not good. Uh. Did we hear a crash up ahead? Not yet. You're just walking. Um, did they not see us? I, no. I did not look like they were going to see us. Uh, no wonder they didn't text you back. I don't have that kind of bail money, so like they're going to have to sort out something else. Like, I don't know. I like double checks, and she double checks her bag to kind of be like, Wait, yeah, hold- yeah, I can't. I can't also. Right hold on a second. Depends on what is meant. Andromeda. Hmm? We were behind them. That red light. We were left at. This has got to be, some sort of time magic going on. There has to be a loop of some sort. And then screeching, crashing metal, and exploding glass. Ooh. That's not good. Um, Hold on. I made a mistake and did not have my PDF open. I have one dot in space, mage players. Is there anything I can do to kind of get us whooped in in a direction? No, no whoopage. You could do ground eater to go a little faster, but other than that. Okay, I wasn't sure if I one dot doesn't do too much, but. You know what? We might be able to combine that with my life to not only accelerate our bodies, but to bend space. It only affect yourself at that level or one other person. Groups mm. would be possible, but you'd probably need to do it as a ritual. Gotcha, and that would take time. Or uh, multi-turn action while your friends are about to explode. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, that's that's not gonna work. Uh, uh, I guess if I could try to cast bra- uh, brown eater, ground eater, <laughs> uh, <yeesh>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! Don't let me words, guys. Why did you let me words? Um, I'm gonna try to. Uh, I would like to try to do that. Would that come? Did you say that would only just do me, or would it do for both of us? You can make any spell do both, but. Go ahead, what were you going to say, Paimon? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's her choice. She can do individual target, or you can do an AoE around you, like an arm's length. Anything inside, that is affected by your spells. Okay. <clears throat> that would, so that would just be like a different reach on it, So right? like if you ha- if you hug Jack, it would work. <laughs> we hug? Right. Because you only have one dot in space, and it's not one of your primary arcanums. Yeah, it's gonna be not. You're not gonna have any. You you have like no reaches available, really. You have like one, okay, you have like gotcha. one free reach. I don't do hugs. Meaning you could either <laughs> an affectionate poke. Like, what do you need? Can we just hold hands? You could sure. take a, a loss of dice as opposed to reaching to include Chimera. Yeah, I'm trying to make the thing happen. It is not my highest arcanum. It is not one of my ruling ones. Uh, it costs one mana as well to do. I think in the meantime... Uh, could well, I spend a willpower to do that? Probably should if you're going to sacrifice dice. Yeah, yeah you can Totally. Uh, and I want that for potency or duration? Potency? Duration. Duration? Okay, great. Thank you. Next. In the uh, meantime, can I summon a spirit to send to them and make sure that they're all right? 
Sure, but I recommend just running. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, then. I mean, we could just we could we could do that. You're already halfway through, Andromeda. You might as well finish yours. Yeah. We're running while she's doing the spell. Yeah, I'm running, and I'm That's trying to do this. thing you can like... do, yes. Yeah. Uh, so this is arms reach from a central point is scale, correct? Yes. Correct. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da, quick casting time. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yantras, sure. Only available when casting roads. I got that. Uh, I'll throw some high speech in, and I'll also throw some... Like High speech path. makes it take longer. Oh, it does? Cannot be used reflexively. Oh, check that out. Tells you things. Ah. You also don't have any tools for space, so I don't know what you'd use for Yantra. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess... Maybe... Maybe I've got... I've, there's a crystal for that. The sure crystal, crystal. There are crystals for that, but that only applies to your prime at the moment. <laughs> Fine. No yantras. <laughs> Am I a nerd? What does a nerd mean? <laughs> you are not a nerd, but you are a okay. nerd. Uh, <laughs> what is a, no sleeper witnesses? Nothing nope. was used there. Nothing like that. Additional mana spent? You don't no. need additional. You just right. need the one to cast it. Great. No paradox roll. I have a dice pool of four. Mana cost one. Just click already. Space. Da, da, da. Okay. Cool. Great. Um, four. D10. Please. Hey, you only need one success. Yeah. That's a zero. That's no successes. That's none. Absolutely. Wait, no. I forgot to add my three die for the willpower. I'm so sorry. I can't count. Oh, wait, no. It put the willpower in. No. If you clicked on it, I clicked it added. spend a willpower. Never mind. That's correct. Uh, yeah. All right. With that, those for nothing. Damn it. Does a one mean anything? No, only if you want it to critically fail. You don't have to. You get a beat, but then bad things happen, like car wrecks. I mean, what's going to happen? We're on the side of the road. We're like, <laughs> just like, what, what could happen? I'll take the beat. That's an arcane beat. That <laughs> uh, is an arcane beat because you're critically failing a spell. What happens is you accidentally solidify your place in space. So we can't move at all now? Oh, no, you can move. But it's like you're wearing five layers in winter and trying to sprint uphill. So I'm going to need stamina. Plus athletics. Minus two from both of you. Andromeda, <laughs> what the fuck did you do? Look, okay, apparently I stared at some galaxies and like I saw a dead dude and there's been a lot of plasma and I'm really worried about my sweater and like I just told oh, you, don't okay, you just okay. yell at me, okay? Uh, all very right. sensitive right now. Alright, he'll he'll actually like put his hand on your shoulder and just it's okay. So you said that was it's okay. Stamina plus athletics minus two. Yeah. So it's and if just you're a not, two for me. And if you're not trained in athletics, it's minus three. No, I have athletics okay. and I have three stamina, so I'm rolling a I'm rolling no two successes. dice. I have one success. Okay. <laughs> Andromeda, you get there before the car bursts into flames. Chimera's behind you going, okay, okay, <laughs> catch up. I'm sorry, I'm Dry sorry. heaving probably. <laughs> so you see Paimon half out the door his face is more glass than skin you see Angelique pulling herself out making really weird noises and then uh, the cop car is also upside down but nobody's crawling out of that fuck the cop help our friends yeah dude and the underside yeah. of the Porsche there's, there's, there's fire Shit. Uh. Do you have forces? I do have forces. Go, go, gadget PDF. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't have any rotes or yantras forces. Uh. uh I need a. Can point. I yes. uh, see if Angelique is. 
unconscious. You're, you haven't caught up yet because you'd failed that roll to get to get okay. sprint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forces. <laughs> so initiate of forces. If you want to help, like influence, influence fire. It, it's one dot. Yeah, I've got one of those. All right. Jeez Louise. All right. Spell two time. Spell yeah. It's, I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's do this again. This is forces. This is my forces are economist. One. Rock and roll. Spell needed. One. I'm going for potency. Range. Because Range? You, you, you got up to where you can see what's happening, but you're not next to the car. But the primary factor would be duration or, or potency. All right. It has to be one of those two. Mm. Doesn't yeah, matter. Doesn't... Pick whichever you want. It's, it's duration. Yeah. Okay. It's, but it's you one can of my spend ruling a reach. Arcana good, right? You can spend a reach to switch it, though, from duration to potency. Okay. I'm going to also spend another willpower as well. I'm pretty okay on that. Uh, Not a praxis, not a rope. Uh, potency is the primary factor. Casting time, quick time, duration. One and your turn. range needs to be line of sight. Range is... You have to go to the advanced. I look at advanced, I see sensory, yep. and it says sympathetic attainment, sympathetic range, temporal sympathy. I don't have either. It just needs just sensory is fine, yeah. or else you have to touch the fire. Oh, just sensory. Got it, got it, got it. All of this is making more and more sense each time I do it. I'm just sorry that it takes me forever because I don't know where I'm going. Um, and then this one needs to be scale. Would scale, need to be. Uh, small room. A small room? Cool. Because it's a car, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can prevent other parts An from catching reach. on fire. You so don't need any extra, extra reach. I don't need any extra reach duration one turn. Okay, good luck. Here we go. Uh, yantras. Gnosis allows. Aha, Gnosis allows the use of two yantras. You have tools for forces. Yes. Path tool. Add a yantra. Uh, That's the only one that you could do in less than a turn. Hey, got it. Solid. Next. I will require a paradox roll. Am I a nerd still? <laughs> yes, but you're not a nerd. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> number of paradox rolls in the scene. Nope, nothing. Great Sleeper witnesses. Over. Are we nope. counting the dead cop? Okay, he is cool. not no dead, dead, but he's also not conscious. Perfect. All right. All right, paradox roll, one die, and then... So one die for the paradox roll. And that is a six. No and paradox. Then... No paradox, yay. And then five dice for this guy. Let's go. Let's go. Yay! And then is it 10 again in this game as well? Yep. Yep. Okay, so uh, that is one success. The spell works, and all fire is suppressed in the Porsche. So now you can wait for Chimera to catch up, and you can drag them out into the street. Yes. So we jump forward to where the two of them are propped up against the tree, and the two of you are looking down at them. You can speak again now, actually. <laughs> what do you what do? What the fuck wait, was that? Wait, before you speak, before you speak, I, I <laughs> have to do it. I have to do it. So I'm redeeming 5,000 points. So, can you do it as Itzvan, please? <laughs> I love that character. <laughs> what? So, I'll allow it. Yeah. What the fuck was that? What? What is going on? Oh, someone is screwing with me quite a lot, and I, I don't like it. No, no. Did, did you hit your head in the car are you okay she did you can tell it's like big ol' <laughs> oh I, yeah chimera will set to work healing i hate my everything it all hurts oh yeah yeah like, they don't what look good happened? why it's so unconscious oh Pyvon's still no, no you're, you're up now but the headache oh, but the headache oh. is like you know and like the whole oh. left side of your face is glass Oh, ow. Yeah, um... Can, can Chimera tell which one looks the most injured? 
So, anybody have any uh, ocular triggers for their role-playing games? What? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, like eyeball Eyes. weird stuff? I think I'll be all right. I'll be okay. So Angelique has a piece of dash sticking out of her leg, but you're watching Paimon pull a sliver of glass out of his eyeball. You're like, I'm fixing you first, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, do oh, me wait, a well, favor. No, don't, don't touch. Do I pass out because of the shock? You, you pull the glass out, you look at it, and you decide it's time to check out again, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, well, uh, he, um, mm, okay, cool. Cool, 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 so. And apparently you're doing this as Tav. Oh Son of my gosh. Nope, as Oliver. Uh, brain uh, just short-circuited. Let me <laughs> gather myself. <laughs> um, um, I have a question. Yes. Maybe I should switch that to accents. I don't know. <laughs> Ask away while I fix my brain oh, space. Uh, so I would like to know what exactly has happened and uh, where are we going to go next? You've right, been in since a we're talking accent. in accents now. All right, let's look and see what I can do to fix you. Uh, when did you become uh, English? Oh, no, this I'm is, uh, I'm just making fun of you. Uh, I, I appreciate that, uh, Jack. You you are a, a true and loyal friend. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to Oliver some of those answers for me though. So like, if Angelique said, "When did you become British?" You might say, "I've always been British, but I've never been British," because that's what Oliver would do. I don't know. Oh, Chimera is going to go work on Paimon. Okay. How much lethal damage you got, Paimon? I only have three lethal. Uh, do you want to risk lots of paradox, Chimera, or be safe about this? Safe about this. Okay. Roll four dice. Each success heals a lethal off Paimon. All right, my babies. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. I've got two tens. Reroll them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one more success. <laughs> two sixes. I just did. You heal two still... lethal, Paimon. You're awake now and feel a lot better. You've got some... Uh, something's fractured and lots of internal hemorrhaging, but you're fine. You feeling better? Would you like biscuit? You do suddenly have lemon biscuits. What? don't really in the mood for a biscuit at the moment. I got freaking glass sticking out of everywhere. Well, but, oh, by the way, thanks for taking care of, like, major cuts and whatnot. And, like, glasses and, and, you know, thanks. Yeah, it's whatever. Uh, I, what? Wait, you, you speak British now? You speak British. <laughs> <laughs> you speak with an accent now. <laughs> you speak British. I'm, I'm just making fun of Angelique. All right, whatever. Uh, you know, it is it is not my fault at all that uh, the keeper is after me. I maybe forgot to tell you that at the uh, at the storage unit, but uh, there's a very powerful elf. I see. It, excuse me, what? Did you say a powerful elf? I don't know how else to explain it. So Lord of the Rings now. <laughs> eh. You, you know, considering how powerful the elves were in, in that... I, I, yes. Yes, like... Galadriel is after us. Even and, Galadriel. <laughs> you all notice Andromeda. at this point that Andromeda is and, just Doc Rivering you all? Andromeda is having <laughs> this moment where she's... <laughs> she says out loud, but also semi to the the to her new brain friend, um, just kind of like, just how hard did I stare into that void? <laughs> <laughs> just how hard did I stare at stare at this? Is this the byproduct of this? 
pretty this hard, is... but your friends are fucking weird. Okay, so this is this is nothing to do with you. No. This is the beginning of your journey into madness. Hey, all right. Any, anything hey. you can do to help? Cop car that was following us. What happened? Somebody points at it. It's also upside down. All right, I He's think alive. it'd be a good it's idea fine. to start leaving now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I uh, theoretically, yes, I agree. Uh, in practicality, uh, I can't. There's still dashboards sticking out of Angelique's leg. Yeah. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm going to uh, work One on Angelique. One level left, guys. Four Going dice again to Angelique. do it safely, Chimera. How many dice would it be to not do it safely? Six dice and three for Paradox. And you would heal two lethal per success. I have, I have a few variations of healing are pre-made for you. <laughs> I appreciate that, especially since my computer doesn't like to cooperate. How much paradox do I have? Oh, there's no paradox on this sheet. It's immediate, it. right? It ha what if it happens, it happens immediately. No, oh, because then that might wake the cop up. Can I focus specifically oh, on her leg injury? Spank my Betty just redeemed crit success on paradox roll. My God. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's give the people what they want. <laughs> I enjoyed Betty, watching you better you. love me. I enjoyed watching you process that ever. It's, looks good. All right, so six dice. Each success is two lethal healed. Uh, what was the threshold number? Was it eight, eight or seven? Did you get none? I got no successes. <laughs> Okay. The die for day. So. Oh, did you contain or release the paradox? You didn't have time to decide. Oh, jeez. Uh, contain. Okay. Uh, roll three dice for your wisdom. Oh, <laughs> Betty is printing the spell. <laughs> So you're fully healed, Angelique. Oh, thank oh. you. Uh, this is, I think, maybe the worst day I've ever had. I rolled a seven, a six, and a two. Wait, why was I rolling those? Paradox. Oh, to help it. mitigate the paradox, yeah. yeah. Okay. How much wisdom do you have? You still have seven? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yes. We're going to do that. Oh. oh. Oh, God. I don't like the sound of oh. it. Oh. Official backlash. Uh, how many paradox dice did you have for that? Well, you don't know because I did that for you. You had three, yes. Three, yeah. Cool. And you got one success on the wisdom roll? None. 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 What is happening? Uh, Chimera is just gonna explode or turn into an actual Chimera, or maybe, uh, okay. maybe have Chimeric personalities. I don't know. Top screams. And he keeps screaming and it keeps getting louder and it changes to more of a guttural sound. It's almost like a roar. The cop car starts to vibrate. Then there's a wet explosion sound, along with a bunch of spluttering slaps. 
and no more screaming. Um, oh, did the car eat the cop? What do you mean the car ate the cop? Um, so carefully approach the cop car. <laughs> There's something inside whipping and writhing around. A lot of somethings. Can like tendrils or tentacles. Tentacles? Don't, don't go near the car. Don't Can... do it. Just don't touch I'm it. On, I... Don't look See... at it. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. Uh, I think maybe someone uh, summoned a Cthulhu in the car. Cause the uh, the. Or maybe the cops are worse than I assumed all along. Well, if Sulu's in the car, we need to get the fuck out. Um, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. So Paimon's gonna just gonna start walking towards the Chantry house. Okay. Since there's no really any other way to getting if there. Ten miles. <laughs> If you start walking now... Then there's a horrible sound of bending, twisting, breaking metal. Oh, shit. Um, and the cop car... Can I look at it? ...implodes. It, like, folds in on itself until it collapses and disappears, and there's just a little hovering ball of abyssal black energy floating in the air, about two feet off the air where the car was, surrounded by can glass I, and bits of metal. Can I look at it with Prime? Sure. Why would you do that? Why would you look into the void again? Stop it. You look <laughs> into the abyss a second time. I like it. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, this is... Raise your joining to two. What is... Okay. So wisdom now becomes joining, so yeah. I have nothing in joining. So you, your wisdom, you can use the same spot, though. It's just not called same wisdom spot. Okay, I wasn't sure if I needed to create a new spot. And it's at two. Okay, it's at two now great um the thing inside your head says my lord but not like oh my god more like my liege <laughs> my liege yes <laughs> like just kind of was a bad idea <laughs> do i sense anything yes a vast <laughs> powerful intelligence oh now i want to take a look <laughs> it's yeah, not yeah. it's not focusing on you though paimon it's focusing on chimera huh. Can I? So, what would I roll for that to look at it, like with with Prime, the Cult, like what 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 works? Oh, you're you're just seeing visions of madness right now. Oh, visions of madness. That's my. Jam. In your mind, you're like, this is a cool acid trip, man. To everyone else, you're screaming and blood's leaking out of your eyes. Oh. Whew. I'm gonna tackle Andromeda. You can't. You're frozen in place because the voice in your head whispers. Who said that? Dead. What? Who? Ah. You can use your normal voice now, by the way. <laughs> uh, the fuck? Who said that? Who fucking said that? I said what? <laughs> Or uh, someone, someone said, someone said my, my name. I did. Come commune with me, and you know it's talking about that little bead of darkness. <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I have. Aditi, thanks very much. Uh, you know, hail the horn god. Uh, but thank you, uh, strange space version of a Jehovah's Witness. Thank you to him. I can take you anywhere, for I am the gate. Oh, right. You're the thing we're trying to destroy. Great. It laughs. Yeah, cool. Not, not like a haughty superior laugh, just like a reflexive. Yeah, I'm going to go punch that tiger kind of laugh you'd get out of someone. Uh, 
You know what? Fuck you too, buddy. I don't think you could take me to my deity. And, uh, seeing what you've done to my friends? I don't think you can do much for me at all. That a mortal challenge. Let's forget, see how much you could do for me. I forget how such things work when you're bogged down with ridiculous emotions. Ridiculous emotions. Yeah, emotions are kind of how the magic works, so... That what you think, child. I'm not a child. Oh, you're a child. Okay, maybe a little bit, but... You, what, what do you want, exactly? Because I know an you. entity like you, I can't satisfy jack shit for you. It's being real quiet, and then it laughs and says, pancakes. Amusing. Excuse you? I was merely reading your memories. You're fascinating. Get out of my head, Charles. I'm not in your head. That's not Explain. my domain. What are you what are you what are you looking at? Everything. I am the gate. I see your three dimensional mind cannot comprehend. Observe. And then it shows you just for a fraction of a second. That it's the gate to everything. Time, space, dimensions. It can unlock all of them. Or lock them all away. So for a brief second, you're able to see your entire history as one moment. It hurts. Make a wisdom roll, please. Roll three dice. Oh, jeez. I'm going to use the other dice, because these these are not being nice to me today. Oh, I got a ten. <laughs> roll it again. I got another ten. Oh, my God. Roll it again. It's just a six out of ten. Okay. Uh, we'll apply a condition to you during the break. It only Fuck. slightly breaks your mind. It shows you every event that ever happened to you simultaneously as one instant moment, and then it also shows you what it would be like to exist outside of time for a brief moment that lasts a thousand years. And then it shows you a few other realms, including one where you can glimpse the Horned God. The gate. I don't need to be in your mind to see you. That's not my purview. That's my brother. You, you have a brother? I have a very large family. What are you? The gate. No, but... What? What were you? Like you once long ago. You were... You Human. were a mage. Yes. What do you want from me? I don't know yet, but you fascinate me. You called to me with your imago, and I have I have answered. I Are the you the one messing? I am the opener of the way. Are you the one messing with Andromeda and Angelique no. and Paimon? No. I'm the one you refer to as Andromeda. Music is muted, but still playing. That was the weirdest thing ever. Anyways. No. The thing, as you call it, messing. Like, it says that word like it doesn't quite comprehend it. With Andromeda, it's nothing to do with me.
No, no, I, I can't do this. Go away. It's too late. Fuck you off. Leave me. us alone. It's too late. You called out to me. I am with you now. <laughs> I. But if I didn't. It, but if it makes you feel better, for now, I will remain silent. So what does this look like to everybody else? Well, you, pacing, kind you, of... you are pacing slowly back and forth in a tight circle, muttering to yourself while shaking your head and probably moving your hands a lot. Andromeda, it just looks like Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know what Angelique Paimon think. Well, do I have a, an idea of what's happening? Clearly something is commuting with him, with Chimera, yes. Okay. With them. Hey. Um. But about the time Chimera stops talking out loud, the black bead disappears with a pop in that uh, high-pitched... Uh, Tonight, his sound disappears with it. All right. So, Chimera. Till I say otherwise, you are suffering the abyssal backlash condition. Abyssal backlash condition. For your critical failure on the paradox roll. No matter what spell God. you cast, it's always plus three paradox, in addition to all other paradox at all times. What? <laughs> For as long as the Exarch of the Gate has its eye on you. Abyssal oh, Backlash. On page 117 of the core book, if curious. I can't open PDFs right now. I know. <laughs> so, plus three paradox in addition. At all times. At all times. Fun! <laughs> and... Because you decided to test the thing, and it showed you what, how it could uh, open your senses. You also get... That one might work. Hold on. Uh... Do you want to be scared all the time? Oh. Or shut out the events like they never happened? Neither are great. Ooh, let's go with denial. You have the few condition. You have shut it out. Anytime circumstances become too similar to this situation, you black out and lose time, and I'm in charge of your character. Yeah. So what are, um, will you point out when it's similar to the situation or? Yeah. Okay. Um, in order to lose the condition, you have to regain wisdom, lose wisdom, or get an exceptional success on a breaking point. You get a beat, a regular beat, every time you black out. That seems like a good time to take the mid-show break. So we can get ready for round two of chaos. So don't go anywhere, audience. We will be back in ten minutes at a quarter to the hour.
And we returned from break. Lots of awesome chaos happened, but now the scene belongs to the four of you again. No sign of the police car at all, just your wrecked Porsche. And a slightly hurt right. Paimon. <laughs> Alright. So, it's time to go. Please, let's go. So I tried to get, like, if Jack is not reacting, I'm gonna, like, you know, gently grab his arms, like, Chimera. Yeah. Are you fine? Are you okay? Uh, yes. I All right. Think... We need to move. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's, uh... We can talk about your, like, trip afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, walking. Fresh air. Legs moving. Yeah. Walk hard. Ten miles later, you arrive at the Chantry. All right. I think everybody needs maybe a few minutes of rest, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, and then we need to see. The gate is open at the do. front. All the cars are gone. Uh, party while the owners are gone? Maybe? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll probably be... We, we will probably have a party. Yeah. With things uh, we don't want to party with. <laughs> I need a nap. You make your way to the house, and you notice the tower is gone. I don't mean it collapsed. Oh. It's just not there. On? There's a round spot in the grass where there is no grass. It's just gravel and dirt. Was it I... secretly a rocket ship this whole time? No, but it might have been pulled through space magic or... Is the projected gate... somewhere else? Is the hole in the sky still there? Oh no, that was gone. Before that you you closed that. Okay. Yeah, that's what knocked you out that one week. Gotcha. Okay, just double checking. Um, I go into active mage side. Do I see anything space related magic. to space magic? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Same. So, um, yeah. you get to the front door, and there's a note tack next to the brass knocker. <laughs> Pull the note. Take a look. I'm on Angelique. Because of recent events, we've been recalled to London. Could be a while. We took the tower. House is yours. Oh. Angelique, here's my new number. You should join me for a week in London. I, I give that part of the note to Angelique, and I'm like, that's for you. Uh, I'll text her back, saying I would love to meet with her in London as soon as I shake these Task Force Valkyrie assholes who are following me for no reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, these guys, too, yeah. And the Keeper! <laughs> he starts arranging flights with you. All right. Not right now, but for soon. I think we all need some, like, time to recuperate, so... The house is ours. It is essentially Basically. yours for however long. So everybody gets a room except Mr. Jew's room because stuff happened. That's still his room, technically. Yeah. That's his problem. Oh, yeah, stuff that happened, Paimon. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I tried texting you a picture of it, uh, but then my phone blew up. Um, but uh, Jew's still in Twilight. He kind of came through some purple death goo uh said help get me out of here and then got sucked back in um all right so we have proof of life so he's still alive that's great and he's grumpy he's Which means alive, he's doing all right you can be alive in the dead place yeah. it's like a tuesday for him well it's not the underworld it's twilight so all right yeah whatever the purple goo place is yes Right, so we should probably try and get our way to find him. When you pass through the main entrance talking about this into the manor, only you notice this, Paimon. One of the alert wards flashes. It doesn't stop anyone. It flashes when Andromeda walks through it. Do I, like the sigil, do I recognize it? Make an occult roll because you've literally never seen that one go off. You know All that right, sigil though. Occult roll. So intelligence plus occult? Yeah that sigil. Okay. Can't think of the word. 
Hey, best friend. <laughs> Mentally talking to best friend. Three successes. Oh. Yeah. Premiere. Hey, hey, is that, what? Is that bad? What Two it? successes. That's what you get is you're like, the word, yeah, Tremere. What? 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 The uh, sigil for Tremere entering manor. Activated yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 in. yeah. So I ask, Anjali, can you just step out of the house, please, for just a minute? Thank you. Yes, please. I'll go with her. No, 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 you can stay here. I mean, you know, like, Chimera, you know, can you please step out of the house? Nothing yeah, happens yeah, when Angelique yeah, sure. steps through the, the ward. <laughs> Nothing happens when Chimera steps through the ward. I step out. Nothing happens when you step through the ward. All right. So is this there's, from... a new, there's a new development. Do you have Andromeda to go in and out again? Yeah, please. The ward goes off. All right. So. <sighs> Three successes. You remember what? What is it that would you have for a Tremere alarm? Someone All right. But I know what a Tremere is. I know that it's a legacy, right? You know it's a legacy, but you also know that alert, that ward specifically triggers when someone missing their soul passes through. Oh. Right. Remember that permanent condition you get for becoming a uh, Bali Andromeda? Oh, oh, that curse you get. Okay. So I don't have a, I don't soulless. Have a soul? Oh, so have... soulless. What no that means soul? is you're susceptible to possession, except, you know, you already are. So you're okay there. Um, if you have try to resist the entity at any point in the future, minus two to all your dice pools. That's the first thing. The second thing, uh, you can only regain willpower through... Uh, engaging in your virtue however your virtue and vice are reversed now wait hit it double checking virtues and vices oh these were the thing i have to go back in the chat to see what they are because i remember that was where they got deleted off of the thingy they'll be at the top of your character sheet by your name and your path that was the one where i it got deleted off of my character sheet. Well, I'll so figure it out. We need to pick oh. you a virtue and a vice then, except your vice is now your virtue. Great. I'll figure that out. Oh. Um. list okay here's some virtues hey, thank you sorry <laughs> charity faith fortitude hope justice prudence temperance here's some vices envy gluttony greed lust pride sloth wrath those are classics of course uh, uh let's see what was the one right before Love, justice? Righteousness, courage, patience. Those are all virtues. Here, it's a list. Oh, great list. Cool. That's what I was going Pick one of each, a virtue uh, and a vice, and then reverse them so that to you, the vice is virtuous and the virtue is a sin. From now on. Great. <laughs> and whenever you engage in the vice that's now your virtue, you get your willpower back. That's the only way. Most people get it back when they sleep one point a day. Are we waiting on me to do this now? Because no. this is a lot of pressure, but I got this. No. <laughs> However, you can also regain willpower through your vice, which is your virtue in your case. Except, if you do the good thing to regain willpower, uh, it's an act of hubris and you can lose joining. Oh, wow. If you ever decide to fight back against being Celesti, that's how you do it. But it's going to hurt you to do that. It's like it hurts you to lose wisdom. 
So like if I try to do the thing that I normally would have done in order to gain back willpower, it hurts me. But then if I take the part naughty in thing. the thing, the naughty thing, it helps. It, it regains your willpower and life is better. Get, it regains my willpower. Life is better, and that's and you that's continue good going down the path of Celeste. Okay, got it. Cool. All right, I'll fix that. I'll figure that out. Also, you could, uh, uh, you could uh, join the Tremere Legacy now if you really want to. <laughs> Would Andromeda, in theory, know what that is after being a part of the Mysterium? Perhaps Paimon, as a character, would like to explain that to you, because Andromeda is also going, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> about being soulless. And what a Tremere is. Listen, I've been called a lot of things in my life. Uh, all right, not not soulless in the sense of you know that that sense, as in l the literal sense of. I'm not sorry, having I still use plastic straws. Like, what do you want? I'm like, talking about literally not having a soul. You're possessed by an entity. You put it, it in a Tupperware box, didn't you? No, and also Tremere. Uh, Tremere who? is Tremere. It's a legacy where the mages who literally detach souls from other beings attach it to themselves and live off, live off that soul. Basically, technically making them temporarily like ageless. Okay. But I mean, if you don't have a soul to lash onto and like suck dry, you'll die. All right. Let me run this by you real quick, big man. So I have no soul. From what I can see. And as she says that, he just grabs her by the shoulders and like pushes her through the, the, the door <laughs> uh -huh. to see if it lights up again. It does. <laughs> or you see that. Do I, uh, do I just see light that up active, like a Christmas yeah, tree? Yeah, you can see active it. Active mage side, I can see Okay, all right. And, and the, and the that, rune is like shuddery. It makes you go oh, 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 chill down Ooh. your spine. Oh, you see that light up like a Christmas tree right mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. I see it. I see well, it. That, that, that means you have no soul for the moment. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But um, I, I could... have a question. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Class. Uh, and Provida, she's up. She's walking around. She's talking. She seems pretty animated. I not thought having a not soul doesn't mean a... you're dead just right. means you're an empty husk but you're still alive okay hold on i am definitely not an empty husk okay wait so no. she's goth now you're right because i'm here you don't need a soul you have me here we go <laughs> only only andromeda can hear that mm -hmm. i'm gonna give I... you a new wardrobe it's gonna be amazing my eyes look like this I can use vegan only eyeliners, okay? Because like the other ones mess with me. You use plastic straws. Listen, there's a line. Or, or, you can take other really shows, have like she's... he says. That's true. Huh? Like, but as still... long as I'm here, I'm your soul, your real soul. There's perks. You're immortal now, unless you die from violence. You'll never age. Uh, so let me ask actually not and, hearing any of this will say like look she still cares about cruelty free makeup like that's gotta count for something like not soulless but like so this yeah, Tremere thing so this Tremere thing if I am a Tremere I would get a soul if I ate a soul all right it's I, look i only know like technically what they are but i don't understand how it works I i'm not Tremere. You. is there a book on that you don't need a book was... you have me i'll show you we how. might have a book in the library i'll have to take a look and see what i can find out about it like mentally gazes at, <laughs> at, at bob and it's just like shush i'm not trying to listen but rest. We all need rest. Yes, definitely. Of course, there's probably food in the fridge. So, or if anybody's like a little mm. peckish or hungry, there's probably food in the kitchen. Andromeda sort of looks up at the Tremere symbol and glances around at the house and is just like, uh, 
The house doesn't friends. seem to care. That's more like a be aware of what's walking into your house kind of thing. Right. Just kind of looks at it, but, you know, not knowing so much on that is like, uh, with your friends gone, is the house going to eat me because of the... No. Okay. Cool. Great. Your answer to that, Paimon, would be, no, the house doesn't eat Tremere. Just mm -hmm. Celesti. Mm -hmm. But nothing happens. But since there's no Celeste in your party, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Right? That's like, actually, my, 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 like, nothing happens. The house is not trying to, like, vaporize her into... Mm -hmm. Which seems weird. Because you but do I know she's Celeste? I don't remember. Did you succeed on that role or did Andromeda only? I think I remember you didn't see anything on her, but she only saw it on you. Hmm. So no, seems fine to you. Wait, but I count. Not yet. All you did was corrupt a couple of magos. You haven't fallen yet. Okay. I have the diadium. The di diadem. Diadem. The da da da. I have the da da da. All right. I'm gonna have to think about that. But time for bed for me. So please take some rest. Tomorrow we're going to need to see what we can do for Mr. Jew if he's still alive. Okay, Mira. You do get to sleep. But you know those cartoon memes where it's like, shut up, Brain, I'm going to go to sleep, and then Brain gives you a random fact and you're up all night? <laughs> that's what happens. To, that's what happens to Jack, except... How the fuck did we get ahead of them in the car? That's what you think about till you drift off to sleep, because you never figured that out. Next that's day arrives... That's going to think about... <laughs> trying to drift off tonight. <laughs> so, while Paimon is in bed, he's going to go into his own arrows again. Okay. And this time he's going to try to touch and commune with the abyss with his soul, because it is there, I think. For now. How does the tower appear to you now? The tower that was kind of evil looking to begin with. Well, it doesn't look like a really like a tower anymore. No. It kind of looks like a ziggurat. Where's the book? I just over here. Can't seem to find the actual name now. Where is it? It's unpronounceable. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's a view from the ziggurats. Yeah. But the way it works for Master Ghost now, if I go down that path. No. You can actually make up how you want it to look if you want to. Um, yeah, but I want it to fit with what happens to the Mastigos when they go down that path. Because everything is kind of like reversed for them. Everything is in darkness. And yeah, basically, Paranoia, it's kind yeah. Of yeah, everything goes like a wall. You can also use a description of D&D style pandemonium. Endless black caves full of shrieking, howling, screaming wind that are in human voices. Yeah, that's pretty much what's happening. Okay. As you wander the corridors, a figure materializes out of the shadows. At first, it's a fox, a very large fox. And then it's an upright person who's like a werewolf, but fox. All right, I take a couple of steps back when you said we're. And then when it actually steps fully into the little bit of light radiating out from you, from your soul, it's uh, a person. What does that person look like? That person is uh, five foot ten inches tall, very fit, but not 
muscly bulgy fit more like frequent runner fit uh it's a gentleman looks like uh part uh japanese and probably part uh wow what's the word for people from western europe help western european nordic another English? word for that and i can't think of it iberianic like iberian on the iberian peninsula spain portugal france nope. eurasian Caucasian? that's it Mediterranean? Part caucasian wow oh, words. Pass, so, okay part caucasian yes so, eurasian like, why people and <laughs> why people? and uh <laughs> and uh yes ever as the back half of him is still in shadow tendrils coming out of his ass like nine of them is what? <laughs> it's a not. corrupted version of a kitsune. From his lower back, and then he pulls himself fully into the light, and it's just a dude. Eh. He smiles and says, welcome back. I've missed you since last time, brother. Ah, brother. This is the other journey we never did yet. <laughs> so we're just going with it since you went in again. Yeah. All right. So, what happens now? That's what I tell it. Are you ready to continue your journey? I had a taste of power. It was intoxicating. So, yes. I want to feel that power again. He smiles at you and says, Then be ready. Prepare yourself, Chimera, because I know you love foxies, but... What if folklore creature was cosmic horror? A tail comes out from the back of him. It's coming from inside of him. It looks like a tail at first until it whips around over his shoulder and you see it's a slime-covered tentacle covered in millions of fine hairs that looks like fur, but it's cilia. The tail mm. hovers in the air for a minute and then whips out, wraps around you, and yanks you into the air as six more come out of its mouth, both of its eyes, and its ears and the center of its uh, where its belly button should be and each of those jams itself into your orifice and if someone was watching there's an exchange of something pushing through them from it into you they could be okay. tails in the right light more like tentacle centipedes though I don't, I, I don't fight it. I just let it happen. It passes knowledge to you. Corrupt knowledge. You can volunteer to lose the wisdom point. Uh, At that point, pretty much. Okay. Uh, shaken for the next 24 hours in game is your condition. That's if you want to volunteer to lose one point. You could go faster. Well, what if I wipe out all wisdom? Your condition will be super bad, much like Andromeda. <laughs> Not the same one, but that level of bad. Fine. Do I get joining? You would, yes. Then that is what happens. Okay. At some point during the process, it starts, it reverses, and now it's pulling things out of you. Is it painful in any way, or is it Like just you've like... never experienced before, like you oh, couldn't God. put it into words when you wake up. Um, and it hurts your mind, too, not just your body. So yes, you can set your joining to one. All right joining the fold. All right, done. And, uh,
Do you want it to have wrecked your mind or your spirit? Your choice. Um, spirit. Spirit. Your persistent condition is broken. Minus two to all social roles and any role involving resolve. And minus five to intimidate. You get a beat every time you back down from a confrontation or fail a roll because of the penalty. Okay. It will never go away until you gain more joining. That's how you wake up. Although, it ends up being everyone trying to shake you awake because you end up screaming and thrashing in the middle of the night. And when they rush into the room to see what's wrong with you, uh, the sheets are covered in blood, sweat, and piss. And it's all his. I turn around and just like shake a bit. Look at the bed. Wipe my face. Do I have blood on my hands? Yep. You are you there is there is blood, dried blood, it's not fresh anymore, around all of the orifices that it shared with you in the uh joining. And everybody else is in the room? Yeah. Yep. Alright. I just like pick up all the sheets and put them off the bed and I I'm gonna go take a shower. And I yeah. just limp limp to the shower. I would uh yeah. I'm go fine, go. I'm fine, I'm fine. Everybody rest. Curious just curious, Angelique still has on those glasses, right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. But I mean, if Angelique tries to do post-cognition, she can't see his supernatural. She can't see where his soul astrally traveled. She'll just see him thrashing around in the bed, bleeding out of his right, like, facial like holes get... and peeing himself. Uh, yeah. And I only get like five minutes, I think. Yeah, oh, it's right, not a lot. Right. Yeah, so like she probably used it. She'd be like, oh, really bad nightmare. Yeah, that's like. what it looks like. Uh, you know, it's been a rough week for you guys. Am I able to see anything like this with my whole abyssal? You already know he's falling. You, you so like you saw this oh, in the I previous saw session. That, that it was happening. So you would automatically assume, and Bob would verify. Yeah, he's he's joined now as well, just not with me. And just asking Bob, like, but he's not soulless. He doesn't have the light go off when it comes in the house. No, he's not possessed. Oh. He, he's not sharing a symbiotic relationship. I'm, I'm possessed, right. We are in symbiosis, yes. Right. It's like Trill on Star Trek. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know a lot of pop culture references for a space demon. I've seen everything you have. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Also, for the audience, Meredith's new virtue is compulsion, and Meredith's new vice is ambition. It was what they would have been regardless as an Just academic. Just reversed. Yeah, as an academic, she was ambitious, and in this vice, she was compulsive just because, I mean, she talked to the demon thing, so yeah. Tracks. I was trying to figure out what tracked with her so far. Cool. This is nasty. Like she says, looking around at like the sheets and just the bed and everything. Like this is. Uh, for Evan fallen since it's a new arcane experience, do I get a beat for that? Yes. Oh, so does Chimera for gazing into the abyss of the gate. And 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 Angelique for ha for having a. Uh, for having glamour cast on you by a keeper. Yay! So, to justify the spending of experience, can I say that the joining that I just had with that thing from the abyss within my soul, it shared knowledge, correct? 
Yes, it was give and take. Couldn't it? So can I spend my four uh, experience points that I have to gain an extra dot of space as part of that sharing of knowledge? What's that take you to? Three? Yeah, uh, yeah, I would be at three with that extra yeah. dot. Okay, so here we go. Space three. And yeah, the thing with the no tails wasn't like a sexual experience. It was to imply <laughs> cosmic horror version of intimacy. Yeah. Like being hugged by fuzzy worms in your face holes. So yeah, I take a very, very long shower. <laughs> And the next morning arrives. Get out of bed. Start making breakfast. Not talking much. So, we gonna go find you? That's the plan. Seems like the move. Now, do we have uh, a way at the moment to physically enter Twilight without Mr. Jew's help? And I look at Andromeda. Uh, I will give a correct answer to that once <laughs> the player looks at the right. Andromeda it has... It's in the grimoire, but nobody has enough death dots yet. It's the problem. I have a singular death dot. You need three. Right. But I also have... There's something with Prime that also talks about Twilight. I know that I've read the word Twilight like within that. I just don't think that I can get into it. But with the supernal world and various things, there's... I can see stuff. Yep. You just can't get there. Your goal was to come here and get somebody here to help you, but they're not here. None of them. Gained a Chantry. Lost your death mages. Also, how strong are you with your understanding of Prime, Andromeda? Uh, Andromeda gives an answer that is equivalent to three dots in Prime. <laughs> All right, because, because some there... of us might need a refill of mana, and as I understand it, you might yeah. be able to transfer? Yeah, uh, I sure can. I have channeled mana can help with that. I think that's the one. House has uh, a node as well. Okay. Oh well, yeah, I can move nodes to us. I can, I do something with nodes. I can do nodes. I have nodes. I have. <laughs> so what I'm going to try to do, do is I'm going to try to oblate. Absolutely. So I, you can I eat play. breakfast, and on my cell phone, I watch a uh, a YouTube video of Tony Robbins, and uh, I look at the way he does his things, his posture, the way he speaks, because that's one of the uh, oblations for my legacy. Roll it. Rolling, rolling, and that is three successes. So I get three mana back. Actually, oblations. Mm -hmm. I'm now at eight. Yeah. If you've spent any mana, you might be full. I don't remember. No, I did. Yeah, I spent. Or no, I mean Angelique. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I am full on mana. <laughs> Drama does not. Oblations I'm not. from your legacy. Oblations and a legacy. So yeah, I made a mistake last game for the oblations with legacies. It's um, gnosis plus composure for the role. Uh -huh. I said arcanum, but it's not arcanum. It's uh, composure. Uh -huh. Where would I find that in the thing? Uh, wherever 
you it kept would be the, with the copy of your legacies. All right, yeah. there's the legacies. All right, da 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 da. Legacies. That's my. That would be the mis the mis the mysterium, right? Nope, that's your order. That's my order. I don't remember which your legacy yours was. My legacy just. Oh, there was a list of a bunch of different things. Yep. And everybody picked one, and I don't remember which one you picked. Because I don't have those I, notes today. I don't remember either. I'm so sorry. That was one of the other ones that, like, didn't work on my sheet. Do you remember Paimon? I'm so sorry. No, I don't. I'm trying to. There was something like because she because like I know like the Mysterium, there was something where like we were looking for the various mysteries, like on the like endless hunt for stuff like that. I can't remember if that's the Mysterium or if that's another thing that was within that. The I Mysterium like was, is an order, not a legacy. I know, I know. But there was another legacy that had something to do with like deep diving into those mysteries. No, I don't remember, unfortunately. Cult of Doomsday, no. Reality Makers, no. I can't even find the PDF now. I'm taking a look back to see if... Oh, okay. Something. Okay, I got it. I got it. It's cele uh, uh, the celestial master. The celestial thing. Does that sound right? Because you sent me the thing with the different yantras, oblations. Celestial masters the, uh... is a uh, legacy. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, then that's the one because you sent me the things. Okay. Let's put the document in the uh, Discord if you need it again. All right. Thank you. Um, so my oblations. Uh, do I just pick one? Did I pick one from that list, or is it all? Yeah, yeah, just one out of the list. You don't have okay. one forever. You pick the one you want to do right now. All right, yeah. star charting. Star charting. Like, because that was the thing. It's like, it's got star charting, exploration, scientific research, converting energy from one form to another, mathematical equations, engaging in cartography. Um, if I can find any sort of, like, nerdy maps or anything within uh, the Silver Ladder house, like, that's... This house has to... a... Uh... What are those called? Telescope room? An observatory? Heck yes. Oh my gosh. That is, yeah. And uh, honestly, like, she might just move her bed up there. Like, that's <laughs> where she's at with it. An observatory? We're at it. Perf. Ever? Okay. That's amazing. You are now, oh, hello, it Tremere. It, it, it wasn't me. It was Alisai in the Twitch yeah, chat. Yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. That's You're pretty not, oh, hello, Mare anymore. Play. You're, oh, hello, Tremere. <laughs> It's a nice wordplay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So sorry about that. No, LSI, I'd be proud of that too. So, uh, roll science plus intelligence. It's right there. Oh, hello, Tremere. Oh, hello, Tremere is rolling things. Yes. I put it, I just realized all of that was all in my notes, the whole notes thing. I'm. The... I'm gonna put myself in the corner as soon as this is all done. All right, I'm rolling science and what? Intelligence. Science. I have neither of those things as oh hello Tremere, so like it's fine. But you if are it's a great the oblation, but it's if it's the oblation, oblation, you're still just rolling gnosis. Plus oh no, this is just to see how badly she messes oh. up Star Charting. Oh. oh. <laughs> all right, so it's intelligence and science, you said, yep. and I'm. Rolling ten again. Yep. Oh, I was thirty. Okay, I have a success. Okay. Uh, 
Andromeda comes down like an hour later, real proud of this hand-created star chart that she like sticks on the wall in one of the common rooms. Paimon, you don't have the heart to tell her that she's got the Milky Way backwards, but that's okay. Go ahead and roll your... <laughs> Go ahead and roll your Gnosis Andromeda as a dice pool. I hate you. <laughs> Rolling Plus, my Gnosis. It's been a long day for her. Uh, gnosis and what? Uh, can't think of any words today. The, the word that, that Paimon just gave you. Uh, composure. Thank you. Composure. Sweet. Gnosis and composure. Are excellent. I got I can do that. Uh, that's a success. You regain one mana. Cool. Hey, Mira, would you like to do any oblations to regain mana? Hail Absolutely. Satan. Hey, Mira, will my hail Satan. runs into a chair. Give, give us a good hail Satan with, with horns. Hail Satan. Excellent. Roll Gnosis um. plus... <laughs> Roll your gnosis as a dice pool. Plus your resolve. Every success is a recovered point of mana up to your maximum. Eight, five, and four. One success. And one recovered mana unless you're capped out. Which, what's your gnosis? Two or three? Three. So, twelve. Is your is your max the whole first row or two of the second? I have four now thanks to that ablation. Wow, you've used that much mana. Yep. Okay. So what do you do with your day? More ablations? Question mark. Only once a day. I'm gonna research exarchs. Okay. Aren't we trying to get Mr. Jew out of his yeah, yeah, predicament? Yeah, yeah, we are, but I, I, uh, I... Is it about what happened at the accident? Maybe. Is it an in-character question or out-of-character? It's an in-character question. Oh. Andromeda. Oh, yes. In right. character or out of character question? Uh, kind of. A, it's an out of character question. Okay. Go ahead. If it was in character, I was going to have you actually trying to raise your hand at the breakfast table. No, that is something Andromeda would Guys. do anyway. So when I have an in character question, that's going to happen. What's the out of character question? Uh, out of character question. One of my attainments is glimpse the aether. Is the aether are the aether and the the twilight the same place? No. 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 Okay, just double check. Opposite places. Okay, great, good. Just double check. All right, let's have at it then. What happened at the like, site of the accident when, when you kind of lost it for a minute or two? I I lost it. I thought you could hear me. I, w I was talking to I was talking to the gate what do you mean by the gate well apparently they used to be a mage as well and they Called himself Exarch. <laughs> okay, Exarch of the Gate. Oh, I, I thought Gate was like its name or something. Exarch of the Gate. It is kind of its name. Mean anything to you, Paimon? Oh, uh, well, it means the end of everything, but okay. Uh, so you had a chat with the gate. And uh, how yeah. did that go? 
What did it say? What does it want? It... It wanted... Me... To... And what did you say? I, I told it to fuck off. Well, who am I to judge? <clears throat> Considering the facts. Uh, what... What facts exactly? That's not important. Uh, well, all no, right. No, if you're gonna call me out... I didn't call you out. I say, who am I to judge? So I'm not judging. Okay. All right. Should so... he have said yes? Because that conversation well, went well, right? If we would have said yes, we would be having a different conversation. Because <laughs> from what I understand, we are actually trying to prevent it from screwing up the entire world right now. That's the thing? I do believe that's the thing. So it's just that one thing? Trying well, to I think everything? it might be a combination of more than one Exarch, but that's the big one, I think. Not sure, don't quote me on it. But we need maybe me, need to do more research. That was actually a very good idea, Chimera, to research about that. But at the same time, too many we, things are happening at the same time. We have Mr. Jew that's missing and, you know, popped out apparently in the van and asked us to kind of Yeah, you yeah. Know, you're Help right. Uh, have gate things going on. Yeah, let's uh, <sighs> let's start with Juve. Let's so, with other you. than me projecting my consciousness within Twilight, do we have any other suggestions in regards to getting him out? Figure out how to open. I'm not a Twilight expert, so. I again looking at. Andromeda. <laughs> I was like, listen, buddy, I was in there once and uh, I'm not stoked about going back, but I also I don't know how to get there. Well, other than you, Mr. Juve, I don't think there's anybody else in the group that, you know, I mean, dabbles I can, in death magic. I can give it the good old college I, try. I actually have a little bit of training in it. Oh, oh. first All level right. stuff, but. Uh, Yeah. No. Maybe I could combine it with spirit and get us in somehow. I've never actually done it before. I normally only summon spirits. So this is just me intuiting stuff. If Jack is, or Chimera is communing with weird things, calling itself Gate, maybe we don't want Chimera crossing any magical thresholds? Well, I mean, the Exarchs don't have full control of everything. If Come on, your cell phone try... alerts you. Oh, give me a minute. Take a look. You set up an alert to tell you when yep. the ship that that sailor was on stopped moving. It has stopped moving. <sighs> All right. We have another thing piling on. <laughs> so that ship in the, what was it, the Atlantic or the Pacific? Where was it? I don't remember. In the Atlantic. It's still there, technically. Right. It has stopped. So that ship in the Atlantic has stopped moving. It has stopped at Devonport. Great Britain. Stopped at Devonport in Great Britain. All right, so that means land. All right. Interesting. Devonport. Uh, I'll, right. ju I'll just give you this. No need to roll. Devonport is the largest uh, operational naval base in Western Europe. All right. Does this oh, have anything right. to do with why everybody's now in London? Oh, that's a good point. Time to go visit your girlfriend, I guess. Yes, but Mr. Juve. Oh we yeah, need yeah. To get him out, as we need to find a way to get him out of, out of Twilight. Well, I'm surprised oh. that he's not trying himself to pull himself out of Twilight. He oh, try. he tried. He tried. He failed. 
but he tried. I wonder if I could summon him. Well, he's not a spirit. He's not dead yet. Oh, but he has a spirit. Could we not somehow use space spirit some other things maybe maybe matter oh yeah now that i'm also celestite does the house react in any way no and now you would notice that that's weird All the wards have been taken down, or something's weird here going on. That would be your would immediate be thought, is somebody had already disabled that ward. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. With Mr. a Praxis... Chief, Mr. Chief, Mr. Chief, Mr. Chief. With a Praxis and wards, and magical wards, would I be able to check those out at all? Offer that? You don't find any wards against your kind here, even though there should be. Chimera! A soft voice in the back of your head. I can bring it back to you. No. No. Fuck off. Do I, I didn't see... ask for your help. Do we see Chimera speaking to himself like that? Yes. Alright, what's happening? Can I get closer to Chimera? Dude, personal space. Um... All right, all right, all right. I don't, I don't like hugs. I don't like. I wasn't hugging contact. you. <laughs> I feel like you were about to. Something, something in your eyes. Anyway, the, the, this, this, the exarch is saying that it can get Juve back for me, but I told it to fuck off. See. Still a good guy, kind of. Hail Satan. Um, <laughs> how do I get? You can rid all of this hear thing? it in your heads at that point. Just a very soft voice. He did, but I can help you all. Is this sound uh, just for for Andromeda's knowledge? Is this a different voice than Bob? Yes. Bob's more like Venom. This is like... Bob's more like Venom, but less phlegmy. This voice is smooth and quiet and silky and far away. Mentally friend of yours? <laughs> All right, here we go. So Paimon starts moving, like goes to the living room and starts moving everything out of the way, like the sofa, the chairs, everything what? to get a clean surface. What are you doing, Paimon? Making space. For what? For us. So Paimon's gonna lie down on his back and he's gonna ask everybody to kind of form like, lay, lay down and form like a triangle around him so they're all within arm's length of him. Do I have to sing Kumbaya for this? No, we're not. We're going to project our consciousness in Twilight. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. And Everybody in? Chimera will do as directed. And please, everybody, do not resist. Let it just wash over you. And what are you trying to do? So basically, he's going to do psychic projection. Ah. Which involves everyone around him. So uh, the mage can project the subject's consciousness into a state of twilight or into another stream. The mental projection uses the rules for dream forms. It has no ephemeral. We have no ephemeral bodies, but in uh, but is instead an inc incorporeal, intangible mental image. While in twilight, the subject cannot interact physically with her surroundings and must use magic to affect anything. She is immune to physical damage, but she is still susceptible to mind affecting supernatural abilities. So while we're projected, of course, our physical bodies are in comatose state, and we have no way of knowing what's happening to our bodies. Yay. Okay. Yeah. 
Can I put some wards on us before we project our consciousness and... Nothing you can ward against is more powerful than what the house already protects your bodies with. Oh, okay. And nothing you can do can protect you against the Exarch. Okay, for me... It's, it's like wrapping up in newspapers to resist a hurricane. Um, I have a question with it. Um, yes. With, in this state, I just know that I have something that's called ephemeral enchantment where um, anything that I, I can manifest something within twilight that could be real. It's symbol forms of the aether are real enough to cut through the layers of reality. Is that a thing? This spell enchants these subject to be as, so to be as solid to twilight entities as physical matter. Would that be something I could do once our projections are in there? You're not going to Twilight necessarily, but... But our brains... Oh, yeah. Got it. So, you wouldn't need to, basically. Okay, just curious, as a player. Okay, here we go. So, advanced duration, one scene, quick casting, one turn, so that means I'm pumping <laughs> uh, reach. <laughs> This over here. My yantras are good. Sleeper witness I have to because of my condition on me. All right, so five dices of paradox with nine again quality. This is gonna be nice. Uh, I actually have to roll my gnosis before that and I get ooh, two successes. That means I can control two paradox from the uh, thingamajig if I roll any paradox successes. Nine again. Here we go. Oh, wow. No successes on the paradox roll. So I don't generate paradox. And now I roll for a spell. Three. 13 dices and I get three successes for the spell itself one moment as you attempt to create the spell the silky smooth voice the chimera are you sure you don't want the deal I'm not sure of anything but nothing good could come of you you have to actually say yes or no in addition to your commentary commentary is good but it won't quit until you say no or yes no, I will not accept the deal. This is what you've got to say to it. I won't accept this deal. Paimon, you heard the same thing in your head. Bring back Juve. Addressing me directly? Yes, bring back Juve, then you owe me. You don't see how this benefits you. I just shut him out. No, go away. Go Angelique, away. you hear the same thing in your head. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Go away. No. So, Andromeda, you hear the same thing in your head. And you answer the answer you already told me. At the exact same moment, Chimera looks at you all and says, Everyone say no. No one say yes. What do you say to the entity, Andromeda? The exact quote is, you know what? Sure. <laughs> and Andromeda says yes when everyone else wanted her to say no. Time shifts and locks into place.
Your spell is disrupted, Paimon, as a portal is torn open straight to twilight, and Juve comes flying out, covered in ectoplasm, and slides across the ground unconscious. The portal snaps shut. Paimon gets up, like, what the fuck just happened? Oh, you all felt it. That was the and moment. And I, like, I Especially give her, you, like, Chimera. That was I the gave moment. her, like, the worst possible stare ever. I'm like, the fuck did you do now? That, that was the moment. When everything else... When everyone tells you to say no... <laughs> don't say yes. Right before that demon exploded from the future. That was it. That was the moment you said yes. And your you, you phone died it. again. Wait, no, 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 no. I was muted. Wait, did I get that flip-flopped from what it was supposed to be? Oh, no, you did it right. I did it right. Okay. You did it right for the bad outcome, yes. <laughs> wait, no. Hold on, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I did what the demon said, though, right? You or did, did I do the opposite? You did the opposite of what the demon wanted you to do, yes. <laughs> wow. Okay, I was trying to pay attention, and then I thought it the other way. Okay. Great, good. You've doomed us all, Mir. Yep, that's uh, that's me. That's me. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Tremer. Hello, Tremer. Here we are. I can't remember things. Yeah. Whatever terrible future was supposedly set in place that those demons came back to assassinate you from creating, you just created. I just did the thing that they said. All of you, because it took you all. They weren't there just to kill Andromeda. It begins to click! As Chimera attempts to fight off possession by an Exarch and Paimon, Andromeda have basically fallen to corruption. Hmm. Maybe the demons were right! <laughs> the other... The others will do fine. I'm sure nothing bad could happen to Angelique and Chu. You know... Two out of five ain't bad. I just want to know how, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll make kind of a shady kid. Ha what? Yeah, that's what we wrote, right? Like, you're a con artist and we're shadier than you are. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> it Do just it. goes well. to prove that the goth stereotype of goths being evil is not the case. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to like make an alliance with Chew for something. And then you all hear the voice in the back of your heads, all at the same time say, I accept your conditions. Huh? Conditions? What conditions? And there's a shift. As you feel all five of you, that includes slime covered juve, exchange power somehow. Exchange what? Power. What? Wait. Exchange? Mm -hmm. So, like, do we serious? feel like we're getting more power or? Sort of. So, wait, did just. Uh, are, are we like Sears now? What, what's happening? What's happening is you've connected yourselves three times now with magic. Astrally, spiritually with your souls, and mentally with the telepathy. So your little cabal has been joined on all levels of existence. And whatever Andromeda and her passenger are over there doing, making deals with the Exarch, this is part of it. Wow. So... Wow, so does the does Paimon kind of catch up on what's happening right now? Yeah, because it's going to get weird real fast. Oh, not just that. That Oh, man. Where Angelique and Andromeda. You can each exchange a dot of magic. So any one Arcanum that Andromeda has, you can put a dot in, Angelique, and any one Arcanum you have, Andromeda could put a dot in. But so you cannot exceed your current one? levels if you already have dots in it. This is only helpful... If you have no dots in the Arcanum. But so we gain a dot. Are we losing one of the dots no. that we have? Okay. 
Is oh, this we're like gaining. A... Yes. Wow. Is this a free dot? Yes. Neat. Uh, so I've got fate, yes. mind, and time. Yes, say neat. Neat is good. More neat when we're doing things that I've done. That's that's the right reaction. <laughs> so which of those three do you want to dot in, Andromeda? Okay, so you had... Which ones were they again? I'm so sorry. Fate, mind, and time. Uh, I'll go with mind. Which ones do you have? I have the things that have a dot in them include death, forces, matter, not mind to that point, prime, and space. I will take prime. Paimon and Chimera, same thing. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, damn. so I, I have mind, space, and life. I have death, fate, life, and spirit. I'm going to take that point of fate. I'm deciding Sounds legit. between mind or space. Mm. Which one would be best combined with my other arcana? I wonder. Any of like if you go mind or space between the two, they're both equally useful. Like they're both good. Life is also good, but yeah, depends on you already don't you already? Yeah, you I already, already have, have life. life. So yeah, space or mind. Let's go for mind. Mark them down. Andromeda, your death moves to two. As you are uh, more closely connected to Juve than the rest of them, because he literally brought you back from the dead. And I am marking Juve's sheet accordingly. I believe he's listening. As his prime moves to two. So, what's the highest time in the team now? I I was actually wondering, could I just switch to, like, my instead of doing mind, could I do time instead? Yes. Okay. Since I just didn't want to make, I wanted to make sure it wasn't too late. I'd rather. Uh, I have two dots of time. Two. Excellent. Um, when everything shifts and you could feel time solidify into, like, there were many branches happening in this house this week that this solidified into only one that matters. You feel two things. One, the demons came to assassinate you to stop this timeline from happening, but you feel like this is the one that matters. You feel like if you hadn't chosen this one, it would have been worse. Even if this is the one that makes future demons try to assassinate you. And two, there's already branches coming off this timeline. Somebody is actively trying to stop you from doing things by erasing and restarting timelines, and that's why you were no longer behind them and ahead of them in the car. Oh. The timeline has shifted on you three times in this game so far with very subtle hints of me going, yeah, that's weird. Why did everything change? This was one of them. Someone is actively oh. using time magic at a much higher level to try to stop you from succeeding. By resetting your own timeline. Because now that we kind of have it like out of character, like for the other players, if we have now made, well, through Andromeda, made a deal with the Exarchs, uh, we now have the Pentacle and Diamond Order that like they're gonna see us, they're gonna want to wipe us out. And considering that Andromeda and Paimon are also Celeste, it's even worse. We we got giant targets on our backs. That's the other thing. <laughs> so who, who took the wards down in the house? It's almost like 
words. It's almost like someone is using time to stop you, but someone else knows what's going to happen and is helping you. Mm-hmm. Somebody turned the wards off in this house. Somebody with more power the... than you, Paimon. Oh. One okay. of wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, and this could also be like if we've all had this sort of knowledge discussion. Is any of this happening in character with this as well? Is like your friend who got killed and like hung up on a ceiling. Is that something that happens often? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um, if we have, if we don't know that we have targets on our back there, right? Like, was that a, is that a thing that the, the Valkyrie, Valkyrie people do? Oh, yeah, them too. So we have hunters. We have... A keeper. That. If they find out, if they find out, which maybe they don't know, Pentacle and Diamond Orders are going to be on our asses. Well, we, well, you know what we are. That yeah. counts. So, things are not looking great for our survival at the moment. Mhm, 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 mhm. Uh, yeah. So, but between us, we could either stop them or go somewhere to not be seen by them, right? <laughs> That's when you get a text, Angelique. From Annette. Don't come to London. They know. Run. Wait, what was it? Don't come to London. They know. Run. Shit. That's where we'll pause till next week. Oh man, this game has turned into what I've wanted for a very long time. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay. We did this. (laughs) No, you did this. I did this. I was going to say, what's that old TV thing with the kid? I did this. (laughs) (laughs) Well, dear viewers, we've given into our pride and exceeded our reach. And thus must end this tale for the week before the paradox consumes us all. We'll return next week to drag the secrets of the supernal into the light, take their power for our own. We thank you for daring to follow us into the dark as we chased our obsessions and hope you'll join us again next time. If you'd be so kind as to click follow here on Twitch and then subscribe on YouTube, we'd be in your debt. Special thanks tonight to our patrons and Twitch subscribers who help make our quality better, our cosplay sharper, and help us feed all the cats and dogs and other assorted pets. Many thanks to Astral Tabletop, at Nate Mid for Astral Character Sheets for Mage, and Music Wise, Ghost Stories Incorporated, Me, You, and Darren Curtis Music. Awakened Seekers, please tell the viewers who you are and in what Superna Realms they can find you between now and next week. Hey everybody, my name is Rachel. I am Stolen Fires pretty much everywhere on the internet. Uh, you can find me on the Stolen Fires Twitch channel most evenings doing Midnight Mass Effect. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And then on RPG Twitch, I am off this Wednesday, but I will be on the Onyx Path channel on Thursday with Changeling Dreaming. Then I will be back here on Friday for Contagion Chronicle uh, and Ravenloft, which I think, is it the finale for Ravenloft or penultimate? Yeah. Finale. Because next week is Charity Game Day. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, I will be running Blue Rose on Charity Game Day. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a role-playing game of romantic fantasy. So come by. Uh, check that out. And then on Sunday, I will be running Starlight and Smoke, a D20 Sabbat game. So, doing a lot. Check it out. Hey everybody, I have been... Jack, a.k.a. Chimera, and I am now Ever once more. Whose pronouns are they them? You can find me all over the internet as Changeling Ever and on Etsy at Neat and Co. Designs. New designs are there, and new designs are forthcoming. A lot of them have to do with Vorpal Tales. So if you like my art and you like what we do, please go support my shop also because that is how I make a living. Yay. Uh, But... I now leave the world of mage 
and become once more five bottles of fizzy water in a trench coat. <laughs> um, is it my turn now? Yes, because Keith's not here. Right, yes, hi, hello. I'm, oh, hello, Mayor. Now, oh, hello, Tremere. Now, um, uh, I have been Andromeda, the worst decision maker in all of mage existence. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see how long she survives later on. Uh, but the next time you can see me here on Vorpal Tales will be Friday playing our Contagion Chronicle. Um, and then Saturday, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday on my Twitch channel. Oh, hello, Mare. What's is this Wednesday? Oh, yeah. And also this Wednesday before the game, I'm actually going to be doing a variety game day at one o'clock over on Oh, hello, Mare. Um, so we're going to be playing some games the viewers picked out. So uh, come check it out. Hey, guys, I'm Alan, and you can find me on Twitter and Twitch as the Eldritch Keeper. Uh, I've been playing Ezra slash Paimon, which I really like. And uh, you can find me next tomorrow for the finale of Fallout. So, yeah, come and join us. Excellent. And Key, she'll return next week as well. Pretty sure. And now, for the ride or die viewers, it's vote time. Viewers can vote for any one player each session. Your votes count as three bonus die to any roll. Players, your votes are worth an arcane and a standard beat each. Begin. Uh, I... Oh, man. I'm so divided between Paimon and Andromeda, because those were both really cool scenes. Uh, I'm going for Mare. Sure, Mare. <laughs> oh god I vote for Alisai for the oh hello Tremere no <laughs> I mean <laughs> if I could I would um oh jeez everyone was so awesome stop being so awesome um no. <laughs> I am going to give it to Mayor for making this very terrible decision and totally wrecking our timeline for eternity. Hey, I mean... It makes life more fun. Yeah. Um, Somebody has I... to set up a year and a half long chronicle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, it's I... not intimidating at all to know I'm going to be the act following yours. Oh no. <laughs> Um, I have to give my vote to Paimon for this one, just in that same sense of the, the, the explainer bits, not just for me as the player, but also those interactions between just the personality types between Andromeda and Paimon, like just whatever that, like, yeah, it's so much fun to play across that. It is very fun to play. Uh, for me, my vote will be going to. That is so hard. I will give my vote to Rachel today for successfully uh, flipping up a Porsche and almost <laughs> killing us. That was an interesting beginning of a game, and I loved it. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent choices all around. And audience, we will keep tallying until uh, we shut down the stream. For now, we're going to go say hello to McStabber Studios and then come and check out Squeaks in the Deep when it starts on the Onyx Path channel. It's for us. We'll see you next week once we release even more Paradox into the world. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>